Hi guys and girls, Raj here, back with another video. If you are in your 30s or 40s, is it really too late to make changes in your career? And I will provide tips, tricks and actionable items for taking your career to the next level, no matter what your age is. And how do I know all this? Well, in my late 30s, I changed from a dead-end legacy technology to the cloud where I was able to become an SA at AWS, doubled my salary, and most importantly, teach others like you how to do the same. Fun fact, I also transformed my body in my late 30s, and the career and physical transformation was actually related, and I will share everything in this video. Let's get started. My situation was this in mid-30s. If you are watching this video, chances are your situation looks like this as well. So you are at a job which you are good at. It could be program management, delivery management, testing, legacy technology, etc. And you get paid for it. However, you do not love it. What you love has very little interaction with what you do. And this is not really your fault. 10, 15 years back, when you started your career, you did not know that cloud will become popular or AI will become popular. Sometimes, let's say in my case, they just blindly put me into mainframe because I did not come from computer science. So I did not know coding. So they did not put me with Java and more cutting edge tech. So don't think that it's your fault. None of it is your doing. But this is where we all ended up. And what you love, the world has high demand for. So these are the four components that's important when analyzing your current situation and your ideal goal. So let's say you love cloud, you love AI, and the world has high demand for it. There is a gap between this. And you are in your 30s or 40s, and you think it's too late to bridge this gap. Which brings us to the sensitive topic of age. When it comes to age, there are two different things. One is your biological age, which you cannot control. Second is your workplace age, which you can control. When it comes to a workplace age, people actually don't think of your biological age, but they think of a collection of negative traits. What are they? Resistant to change. Cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Some people might believe that at a certain age, one is unwilling or unable to adapt and learn new things. Second, they are just coasting. And finally, they lack passion. They are not going to be as dedicated or motivated to learn new technologies or put time and effort into their field. Now, if you think about it, none of these qualities are related to age. I have actually seen young people getting fired for demonstrating this qualities. On the other hand, irrespective of your biological age, if you start displaying the opposite positive qualities, such as you are open to learning new things, you deliver your projects, help team members, and then you go the extra mile, you are excited and passionate about learning new innovations, people don't perceive you as an old employee in the workplace. To be fair, 30s and 40s are not old. You have 20 or 30 more years to work. So as you could see, workplace age has nothing to do with a biological number, but it is a mindset. Let me give you a couple more examples. So some of you know, I sometimes interview a director at AWS, Roland Barcia. Did you know he is late into his 40s? Sorry, Roland, to give out your age. Ethan Evans, who was a VP at Amazon and currently runs a very successful business, he is in his mid-50s. But when you think of these folks, do you think they are old? Or do you think, wow, these people are keeping up with technology, I want to be like them, all the positive things. Why? Because they demonstrate these positive traits. And because of that, not only they are thriving, they are also desired in their own companies as well as outside. So now let me give a personal example. As many of you know, I enjoy lifting weights. Funny enough, this was a hobby I picked up in my late 
30s. I always wanted to work out, but I was scared. Number one, I thought I was weak and I will injure myself. Second, I thought my parents have a very small body structure and I thought I have a very small body structure. So no matter how hard I try, I will not be able to put muscle. So you see, this has nothing to do with actually my biology, but my mindset. Even when I started working out, if my mind says, Raj, you are done, you will get injured, do not do that last repetition, then I give up. But if I tell myself, I can do this, let me just try. And when I tried, not only I was able to do that extra repetition, I was able to do two or three more. And as a result, my physique transformed. All right, now that we understand this is more to do with mindset, let's go back to our diagram. So now let's take a look at an ideal situation. So ideal situation is you are good at something and you should get well paid for it, right? Not just paid because if you are switching in your 30s, 40s, you are taking some risk going out of your comfort zone, you should be getting well paid for it, right? Dollar, dollar, dollar. And you love this and the world has high demand for this, so this area. At this point, you are probably thinking, Raj, but there is a problem here. I know what is the problem. The problem is you are not good at it yet. The trick is you need to pick something which you can be good at. And this is a problem that I see with many of my students. So let me tell you a mistake that I did. I was in mainframe and then I googled what are the best paying IT jobs. Data scientist came up and I thought I can be a data scientist. So I start, started learning data scientist and I soon realized I don't have the mathematical depth to become an expert. So I cannot be good at it. And if I cannot be good at it, all these criteria cannot be fulfilled. So I cannot make the career switch. That's too much in my 30s and 40s. So instead, what I did next changed my career. I reused my existing skills. Do not think that whatever experience you have is throw away experience. You can reuse some of it. For example, if you already have 10 to 15 years of IT experience, you know how to deal with different teams, different conflicts. And on the technical side, you have some fundamentals. For example, if you work in database, you know how to manage different storage, how to cost optimize the database, how database works with the infrastructure layer, etc. And that's what I did. Even though I worked in mainframe, mainframe has databases, mainframe has APIs, I reused all of that to learn cloud. So when I was learning cloud, I was mentally mapping the existing concepts that I already know to the new cloud concepts. I was already a team lead and architecting solutions on the mainframe. I reused my design principles and then I added the new cloud knowledge and that's how I was able to switch my career in my 30s and 40s. Imagine this, you are in your mid 30s or 40s, you still have 20 to 30 years of work. Do you want to be miserable? Do you want to have regret when you retire at 60s that you spent 20, 30 years at a technology or at a career you did not love? Don't you want to have the feeling of fulfillment that, yes, I am good at this, I love this, I'm also getting paid highly for this, and I am making an impact. Remember the times in your school or college when you put effort in a subject that you liked and then you got good grades and your teacher said, Mohit, you are so good at this, great job. I'm telling you, that feeling is possible in your job as well, no matter the age. So what are some of the actionable steps? Difference between your best version and current version is skills. You need to learn new skills. However, leverage existing skills to bridge the gap. Age is not a factor, actions are. If you are 40 years old, but you are still learning things, you are hustling, you are motivated, that's all matters. And actions lead to outcomes. And finally, 
even if in the worst case you fail at your first interview when you are trying to switch. You already have a job as your safety net, right? It's not like I am asking you to quit your job and then change technology. You can keep your full-time job, look at my time management video to see how you can make time to study for this career switch. And the last point which happened to me is misery loves company. If you are not happy at your current career and your current job, you will find other people who are at the same situation as you. And you will just talk shit about your company, your current technology and your current life. In turn, that creates a negative reinforcement and you will become sadder and sadder. Instead, you need to minimize those conversations and use that time to study up. Stop complaining and start acting. If this video was helpful, click that like button, smash it if that's something you are into, subscribe and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video.